In today's video, I'll show you how to make your own sculpting tools from some cheap and easy to find materials. Though you can buy professional sculpting tools, they can be expensive and sometimes you just need a specific tool, so learning to make your own is a great asset. For your custom sculpting tools, you'll need a few key materials. I'll also list all the materials and links in the description below. The first tool we'll make is the loop tool. This is great for removing clay and for gradually smoothing your surfaces. The body of the tool will be made from brass tubing. The brand is K&S and it's about $5 per pack. I use a small hacksaw to cut it to the length I want. Make sure you don't use side cutters for this as they will bend the tube out of shape. Then I'm going to spiral some wire by folding it over itself and then inserting the end into my drill. I support the other end with my pliers and spin the drill until I have a tight uniform spiral. I then bend it into a loop shape, cut away any excess and insert the ends into my brass tube. You can also bend your tool shape into a hard edge loop or a triangle or not twist it at all depending on your preference. To make sure the head of the tool stays in place, I mix a bit of steel kneaded or epoxy putty and fill the cavity at the end. Then I use my pliers to squeeze the end shut before leaving the putty to fully set. After 10 minutes, the putty is cured and our loop tool is complete. Now we're going to turn our loop tool into a two-in-one by making the other end of the handle into a rake tool. This is great in the early stages of a sculpture when you quickly want to remove clay and sometimes also for later in the process to add a specific texture. For this, I use a fine hacksaw blade. This particular blade has a TPI of 19, with TPI referring to the number of teeth per inch. A blade like this is actually quite brittle and will snap if I try to bend it just with my pliers. So first I need to warm it up with my blowtorch. Then I bend it to the shape and size that I want. And once again I add my putty down the cavity before squeezing the end shot. If you think the rake tool is a bit too sharp, you can grind the teeth down slightly on a piece of sandpaper. For our third tool, I'm going to be using a guitar. Um, or actually just the guitar string. This works great for smoothing out your clay after using the rake tool. I don't use pliers to shape my guitar string as this can damage the surface. Instead, I wrap it around something with the right diameter and overstretch it for it to hold its shape better. The next custom tool we're creating is a small metal tool for detail work. I'm using a wooden knitting needle cut in half but you can also use something like an old paintbrush or a pencil. The tool head itself I make from a large sewing needle and this tool is great for fine details and to carve out fine lines. This time I attach the tool head to the handle before shaping it and I do that by carefully drilling a small hole at the end of the handle. Then I add a drop of super glue before inserting the sharp end of the needle. I then heat the end of the needle before gently bending it, making it easier to reach those tight spots when sculpting than if it was completely straight. If you have a Dremel, you can also file down the tip of your needle, giving your loop a more defined shape. To finish off, I add a bit of kneaded on the outside to support the joint. The other end of my knitting needle comes with a built-in wooden tool, completing a detailed tool as another two-in-one. The discarded end of our knitting needle has a very nice ball shape on the end, making for a great bonus tool. The other end I'm going to be shaping into a sort of soft pointed spatula shape. This one is pretty easy, I just cut the wood to the rough shape that I want and then use sandpaper to refine it. 
And just like that, we have a series of custom sculpting tools. If you want inspiration for more tools and how to use them, you can check out this video here. And if you don't want to miss out on future tutorials, you can subscribe to the channel here. See you in the next one. Bye.